As the climate continues to warm, entire islands are sinking below rising waters caused from melting glaciers. Indeed, there are many island nations who are doomed already now, condemned, if you want, to disappear. Therefore, there is no question that we have to act. And that is just the beginning of the visible impact of climate change. The invisible part, the bits that we have not necessarily understood that are happening around us, are also underway. We have uh, whole communities having to be relocated. Villages which have been there over the decades, maybe a century. And uh, now they have to be relocated. And where they have been living over the last few decades, it's no longer there, it's being eroded. There are at least 18 islands submerged around the world. Lohachara, India, 10,000 residents affected. Bedford, Kabaskadi, Suparibanga, islands near India, 6,000 families affected. Chesapeake Bay in Maryland, USA, 13 islands. Kiribati, three atolls. Half of Bangladesh's Bola Island permanently flooded, 500,000 people affected. Seven islands in Manus, a province of Papua New Guinea. Once inhabited islands in the Niger Delta region. It's not their wish to go, but because the situation is forcing them to, to move. The following are islands sinking or at risk from rising sea levels. Tartaret Islands in Papua New Guinea, 2,500 residents whose land no longer supports agriculture. Tuvalu, 12,000 residents with no more fresh drinking water and vegetable plots have washed away. Goramara near India, two-thirds submerged as of 2006 with 7,000 residents already relocated. Neighboring island of Sagar, 250,000 residents also threatened. Some 50 other islands jeopardized in the India, Bangladesh, Sundarbans with a population of 2 million. Kutubdia in southeastern Bangladesh lost over 200,000 residents with remaining 150,000 likely soon to depart. Maldives, 369,000 residents whose president wants to relocate the entire country. Marshall Islands, 60,000 residents. Kiribati, 107,800 residents, approximately 30 islands submerging. Tonga, 116,900 residents. Vanuatu, 212,000 residents, some of who have already been evacuated and coastal villages relocated. Solomon Islands, 566,800 residents. Shishmaref in Alaska, USA, 600 residents. Kivalini in Alaska, USA. 400 residents. Over 2,000 other islands in Indonesia. Dubai, 1.2 million residents in the United Arab Emirates considered at risk. Cook Islands, 19,500 residents. Takulau, a multi-island territory of New Zealand, 1,400 residents. Federated States of Micronesia, 108,000 residents. Manus, an island group of Papua New Guinea, 50,000 residents. Paku, autonomous region of Papua New Guinea, 600 residents. There may be more islands, either uninhabited and or not reported, that are submerged or are sinking due to climate change. We may be at the point of, of no return. Our small low-lying islands will be submerged. It's an issue of human survival. If the world community, the different countries don't kick the carbon habit, there will be other countries next on the line. According to the scientists, there could be more than just one disaster. Rising sea level is not the only worrying event. Disease will also rise. They already do so in uh, some parts of the world. Change to a more benevolent lifestyle that is respecting our lives then we will beget life and our lives will be spared and nature will restore the balance and repair our damages i wish to see that day soon in my lifetime the more vegetarian people join the circle the more chance we have to save the planet
be veg, go green to save the planet. For more urgent details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash SOS.